All right, Greenleaf fans. Now, this video is talking about something that I kind of spent the last portion of my episode review for surprised, um, you know, going over. And that's whether or not Grace is going to resign in order to, I think that she would resign to possibly protect AJ. Now, at the end of the last episode, Charity gives the, you know, green light for uh, Phil to send the recording off to Bob email announce it do whatever you need to do basically to sabotage grace because you know bishop requested that slow things down with phil at least until grace becomes head pastor so you want me to put things on hold for grace <laughs> marsha 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 that's pretty much it it was a brady bunch episode right there and in the preview for uh, this week's episode god's justice you know uh phil tells grace that you know you might want to quit and then, you know, uh, Grace confronts Charity about it. It's like, look, if they find out that I lied, then AJ can go back to prison. You brought this all on yourself, Grace. And I'm like, well, I'm not saying that things wouldn't have been revealed. But May was telling Grace to go down to the police station to say that you lied. And uh, then Sophia popped up, you know, to say that, oh, AJ was lying and. I'm not saying that things would go by smoothly, but at the same time, you know, at least it would have happened on Grace's terms as opposed to her being ousted by her own sister to the very people who want to see her fall to begin with. Now, at the end of the episode review, I mentioned that Bob wanted Grace to be in charge for a reason over Phil. So what I'm thinking is Phil may have done one of two things. Number one. He could have immediately sent the recording off to uh, Bob as Charity told him to do. Or Phil is going to kind of, you know, dangle this over Grace's head like, hey, let me give you a way out. I have this damning piece of evidence that could ruin your uh, reputation and possibly send your son back to prison. All I have to do is send it to the proper people. But let me give you an out. You can walk away right now and then make me the head pastor. Basically, he wants to, you know, knock Grace off the totem pole because it seems like she's a couple levels above where he is because obviously he's a bit disgruntled because, you know, Bob is doing things that he doesn't know about. But then also the fact that, you know, Grace was made aware of um, H&H buying up all the land and their development projects before he even knew anything about it. So I think that Phil being Phil, I think he might want to see what, what's the, you know how it is like. When you, somebody you don't like, you want to see him suffer. It's like, yeah, he wants to make Grace squirm. So it's either you can quit or I will give this recording to who needs to hear it. That's what I think Phil might do one or the other. Now, in regards to Bob, going back to what I said before, he wanted Grace in the position for a reason. Now, I'm willing to think that, you know, if Judy finds out about this, I think that Judy slash Bob, who are both of them, I think they'll make it so Grace. Here's what we're going to do. We won't turn over this recording to the proper authorities and that saves your reputation and it will possibly present uh, prevent your son from going to jail for a crime that he may have actually committed. All you have to do is ensure that the deacon boards vote for H and H basically undoing um, the damage that your mother did with her speech at the engagement party. And you'll still be head pastor. You'll still be ahead of everything just like we planned because we don't want to lose you. But we need to use this as leverage to make sure we win. I think that would be amazing writing to put Grace in one hell of a great position. Well, one hell of a very tense position. But by the end of it, I think that Phil will be pissed off about that as well as Charity because Charity will just be like, no matter what I do, everything works out for Grace. Yada, 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 yada. And Phil will probably go back to Judy, which will be very devastating for her. Like Charity won't know what to do at that moment. But I think it's going to be very interesting to see what Grace's next move will be because in the preview, uh, you know, May's like, get up there, speak your truth and win. And it looks like, you know, Grace is looking a bit speechless when she looks out into the crowd. So I don't know if that's because AJ comes through the door or what, but I'm willing to bet that whatever speech that Grace gives, it better be one heck of a good one in order to, um, I guess you could say, as her mother said, win. 
it seems like she's in a, you know, between a rock and a hard place. So what do you think Phil did with the message? Do you think he immediately sent it to Bob? Do you think he'll do what I theorize, which is kind of dangle it over Grace's head to kind of see what her move will be? Will she bow out graciously or, hey, I'm just going to submit this over to, you know, Bob and see what he has to say about it. And honestly, I think the well, then again, I don't know what the writers are thinking. I think it would be pretty interesting if Bob or Judy or whoever uses the recording as leverage to make sure that they win the vote. So with that being said, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Links to my social media are in the description below. Comment your thoughts below and I will catch you all in the next Greenleaf video.